Well, Johnny, that was a, a hell of a finish. Um, can you quite sum that up? No, just a crazy, crazy ending to the game. Um, brilliant character resilience from your team to keep, to keep going, to keep battling. Um, could have easily gone under and they kept going. We get a goal in the 88th minute and I think gave us real belief that we could still service something from the game. So um have to give the boys huge credit. I don't think we was at our, was at our best tonight. I certainly don't think that we deserve to be in the position that we was in um, as far as being too behind in the game. But that's where we found ourselves. Uh, we had to dig ourselves out of a hole and we managed to do it. What a time for Alistair Smith to get his first Wimbledon goal. How have you found his start to life here? Yeah, I've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for that to be honest and uh he knows that we've had good chats about that, but obviously we've been using him in a in a deeper role of late. Um and I think he's been excellent in, in that role. He gets us ticking, he breaks play up, you know, he's uh, he's been a real solid performer in that in that role. But obviously we we brought him in um to try and score goals as well. And uh, I think he's been a bit frustrated that he hasn't added added any so far. But what an, what a moment to come up with one. Great great strike as well, great finish. Fell to him and uh, he found a corner there and um I think that gave us, you know, the the, the belief and the, the impetus, knowing that there was going to be a little bit of time added on, that that we had had time um, to at least get an equaliser. A little, little bit longer, maybe we would have got another one. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. Um, James Tilly comes up with another moment of magic. Is it perhaps feel even better for you that he scored from an area in the centre after you put him in the centre for this game? Yeah, I never really thought of that. Um, you know, we just we just know what Tills can do. We try and get him into areas where he can affect the game. That's why I started him higher today. Obviously, we had uh, we had Miles missing, and we looked at um, you know how we could juggle the pack and getting Tills in in a higher position. Um, we knew he could affect the game. Something that we spoke about at half time, trying to get him in those sort of pockets. Actually, where he scored from, um, I didn't necessarily expect him to stick one right in the top corner from from where he did on his right foot. But we know he's got that quality. We've seen it here. Previously, you all, I can't remember the game now. You'll remember more the Morecambe game, yeah, another another night game. So uh, he's got that. He's got. I mean, that's a worldie in it, and it's, it's obviously it's earned us a point. But um, yeah, great, great, great strike from Tills. But credit to all the boys for the way that they just kept going. Yeah, what did you say to them at the end? Because no doubt your team thought would have changed quite a lot. Yeah, ju- just that. It, it, one of those. That's one of those games. that's really hard straight after to dissect. Um, my instinct was that we didn't deserve to lose the game. I think we had the better chances, but they took their moments well and they do what they do really well. They're a good team and I think you have to give them credit for the way that they came and uh, made it difficult for us. But we've done enough, um, I felt, to get something from the game. You know, they should be down to 10 men at nil nil. Um, it's a second yellow card every day of the week. We should have had a penalty where their keeper chops it, then bundles Matty over. Um, so there was a lot of things that went against us in the game as well. Um, and I'm glad I'm not here with a 2-0 defeat. You know, offering that up, then it sounds like an excuse of why you lost. But they certainly, they played their, their major factors in the game. Um, and we've had to do it sort of despite that, that stuff, really. So I praised the result of the boys, the character to keep going. I said that at points like this, hopefully down the line, and you know, you look back at the these sort of, points and you go remember the game when we was 2-0 down in the 88th minute against Aki and we, and we dug a point out so um, it puts us a point closer to where we want to be obviously we wanted three we know that would have put us inside the playoffs but you know we, we pushed us up to eight for a point outside with with a couple of games behind so we're in a really good position really really positive position um, and we still would have been you know if we'd have lost we'd have been in a, in a decent enough position but it wouldn't have felt like like that so, you know, going to Barrow on a Saturday and then coming back here against against Zaki, they're two tough games physically um, with a travel as well. Um, so for us to keep going towards the end of the game like that and, and, and get something out of it, I'm, I'm, I'm well pleased for the boys. With that in mind, you must be pleased to be getting the, the three lads back for the next home game. Yeah, of course. You have to remember that, you know, we was missing some key players as well. Obviously, Omar and, and Miles away doing what they do for their country and... Uh, Joe Lewis serving his suspension. You know, we've got the skipper in the changing room there with the lads that's not been involved a lot. We're missing some key bodies, but that's that's why you've got the squad. That's why we need boys to come in and be able to produce the way that they have done over the last two games. So, obviously, we get them lads back, um, yeah, for Saturday and we'll have a look at what we want to do. We'll see how they come back because 
See, they both played two games themselves and had a lot of travel as well. But you know, we, we'll work on them because we, you know, we we didn't field a bench tonight. We got young Ed Leach on the bench again, but he's he's played uh, pretty much the whole game for the youth team last night. So um, we was obviously limited with with our options there. So it'd be good to get them boys back and um, yeah, and just have a stronger squad to pick from. Definitely. Cheers, All right. Cheers, Chris. Thank you. Thank you.